Firms need to have a lot of information about their market, their customers and their competitors so that they can make better marketing decisions. This will reduce the level of risk associated with marketing activities. As customer tastes can change very quickly, it's important that businesses keep up with their customer needs. Otherwise, the customers will stop buying. There are two broad types of research that businesses can use, primary and secondary. Let's look at a diagram to make this easier. See how I've got primary here and secondary here? Each one can be broken down further. Primary research can either be qualitative or quantitative. Qualitative uses focus groups and in-depth interviews, whereas quantitative uses surveys or observation. Secondary research can either use internal or external sources. Internal sources include sales data and external sources include government statistics or independent research. You can use this diagram to make sure you revise all these areas. But let's compare primary and secondary research. Here's a table with the main differences between the two types of research. As we can see, primary research means using first-hand data that hasn't been collected before, whereas secondary already exists in some form. Because primary is designed by you, it's specific to your needs and looks precisely at a business issue, whereas secondary can't be so specific because it already exists, meaning it was never designed exactly for your current research purposes. Because secondary already exists, it can be out of date. This can be a big problem if the research is about a market that changes quickly, like the clothing market where tastes change all the time. Primary research avoids this problem and means the research is always up to date. Unfortunately, primary research can take a long time to collect and can be very expensive. Secondary avoids these problems and is therefore a popular choice with smaller firms. As you can see, there are pros and cons of each, and which type is used really comes down to the business and how much time and or money they have, and the type of information required. Therefore, you need to carefully look at the case study for clues about the type of research they may require. Remember that market research can't guarantee success, but it may improve the firm's chances of making the right decisions. This can be a very useful evaluation point in an essay that looks at whether market research can actually guarantee success. Primary data can be further divided into qualitative or quantitative research. Qualitative research focuses on feelings and beliefs and information which is harder for us to explain. For example, what if someone were to ask you what image Gillette created in your mind? Maybe it creates an image of strong, successful men you may not know why you think this, but it's useful information for the researcher when creating future adverts. This type of market research asks fewer people, but gets more detailed feedback. Quantitative research focuses on more factual data. For example, how many times do you eat takeaway food a month? Completing questionnaires or surveys is quantitative and is often used as firms usually ask lots of people and get general feedback. The value of qualitative or quantitative research depends on the skill of whoever prepares the research and designs the questions, the number of people asked, and how those people are chosen.